hello guys so today i'm going to be showing you guys um, a tutorial on how to fix eafc25 and um, increase your refresh rate for the to match your game monitor so it's mainly capped at 144 hertz for some people so you can actually play more than that i'm currently using a 165 hertz uh, refresh rate monitor and well i'm pretty much playing on 164 hertz 65 hertz so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so first let's fix the game the game has been stuttering a lot a lot of you guys have been complaining i'm late to make this tutorial because i got the game late so let me show you guys how to run it so i'm playing on steam so i'm going to be running my steam so i'll go to right click go to your library your steam library right right click on the on the game and head to properties then go to installed files then hit browse so when it opens up uh let me try to make this a bit bigger for you guys to see uh cool so when you hit um browse it's open your file manager where the game is installed so what you need to do next is delete some stuff go to installer uh delete a anti-cheat folder you find there so delete that go back to the main um, installation folder so you see look for this uh, a anti-cheat service launcher uh, exe so you delete that you delete uh, a anti-cheat game service launcher dot dll and you delete a anti-cheat dot cfg that's the config file and a anti-cheat dot splash so you want to delete all of that uh, delete now when you're done deleting that you close your Close your file manager. Um, so head back to Steam library. So right click again, properties, go to installed files. Then you should click this verify integrity of game files so we can recover all those files. Those files are mainly corrupt, they usually come corrupted, or with time they get corrupted. So you do verify uh, integrity of game files. So this will check through the files and download all those things we deleted. It will download a fresh update for all those things we deleted. So this will take a lot of time, so I'll just I'll fast forward this this area of the the video though. So guys, um, please you guys should use the time to like the video and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll also be leaving my Instagram. Um, handle in the description of the video so you guys can reach out to me in case this doesn't work for you or you have any other error you you might need me to fix for you uh, 122 files fail to validate and will be acquired so it will start downloading the missing files you can see the missing file is just 302 MB so that's done so guys first let me show you guys how to run any steam game on the maximum uh, frame rate you can like on the maximum frame rates possible by the game not the capped fps you get on steam so steam usually cap their um, their game fps i don't know why so you just need to go to your library um, right click on the game you want to run at the maximum fps click on properties um, so on the general section here you see launch options so you just need to impute this here plus f uh, plus fps underscore max unlimited so i'll be um i'll be leaving this text on the video description i'll be leaving the command on the video description so you can just copy and paste or you can check it out from there so that's what you need to do on any game it works on other games apex especially apex usually runs on 144 as if you are launching from steam but if you use this you should be getting about 180 fps um 200 fps depends on how much your pc can push the game so all right that's done now so just hit clear now go back to your library next thing we need to do is increase our refresh rate increase our refresh rate so what you need to do now is uh you can't actually find it where we found it on um 
EFC24. So what I'll need you to do is open your file manager. Um, FC24, we had those config folder on a um, document folder. This was where we found it before. FC24, FC setup, that's where we found it before. So it's not there this time around. So what you need to do now is go to your PC, um, your Windows, Windows C driver, wherever you have the game installed. I think it should still be on your Windows C drive, honestly, because it's just the config files. Then you go to Windows C drive, um, you want to hit users. Now you come to your main profile, of course, which might be saved with something else. So now you want to head to app data, but most of you guys, app data is not, um, is not visible for you guys to see. So you need to make that visible. So what you would need to do is just go to uh, this view section here, this view section here and um, click on, click on show. And when you click on show, you hit these hidden items down here. Um, for people who use Windows 10, it's, it's different for you guys. You guys should just check out how to view hidden folders. Then click on hidden items so it will pop out this um, app data here. So you need to click on this app data local and you see EA Sports FC25 folder down here. Now, when you click that, you see everything we used to see on that document section before. Now go to FC Setup. Double click to open FC Setup. Now edit this, please. So for you guys, it will be probably 144 hertz um, on this refresh rate section here. I don't know if you guys can see that. This refresh rate section here. It will be 144 hertz for you guys. So I need you to just edit that. So you just clear whatever is whatever was there. You clear that and impute your monitor refresh rate. If you are using 240 hertz, whatever, you just do that. I'm using 165 hertz monitor, so I'm just going to click 165 hertz. And so you pop, you click on file and save. And when you are done saving, you just close this. Then head to um. So you head to FC setup also and FC setup default. Double click again, do the same thing. Just need to ref uh, edit this also 165 hertz and save it as well. Close that and you are done. So let's launch our game right now. Let me show you guys my in game settings also. Please make sure you follow these steps. Make sure you follow these steps. As you see it here, please. I don't want people who doesn't follow the step and they come to my DM and start saying this doesn't work. But I still end up telling them to do the same thing and it later works for them, please. I need you guys to follow these steps carefully. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, please. And leave a comment. If the solution doesn't work for you, just leave a comment. And uh, if we need to go further more, that's when you need to go to my DM. I'll just let you know what to do. If you are having any error codes or any other errors, just let me know, please. Alright, here are my in-game settings. So mind you, um, in-game your refresh rates will be showing 60 hertz. If you are if you are using um, a a monitor with a refresh rate that is not 120 hertz, 144 hertz, or 60 hertz. So if you edit that, I just edited it to 165 hertz, as you guys see. So, but here you'll be seeing 60 hertz on the display configuration. There it is. It will be showing 60 hertz, but it's really running on the uh, frame rate you just edited so it's not running on 60 hours so make sure if you do an in-game settings make sure you do it first then go back to editing the um configuration please once you once you do your in-game settings go back quit the game go back to do that um, um configuration we just edited then you launch the game back because if you should do anything here right now and i click save it will go back to 60 hertz refresh rate but if you quit the game and if you do all your in-game settings and go back to edit it then launch the game again it should be running at the uh, refresh rate to just impute
So here are my in-game settings, full screen, uh, no limit on FPS, vertical sync off, dynamic resolution off, of course, um, cutscene quality, please put this on full frame rate, and strand based, based hair off, uh, rendering quality, quality medium grass quality medium crowd quality please this matters a lot put it on low put this on low please cloth quality medium ambient conclusion medium motion block quality up so that, those are the settings i'm using in game so guys thank you for watching the video um but there's one more thing i need you guys to see the nvidia control panel yeah, that's true you guys really really need to do this I'm just trying to make it an all-in-one uh, fix for ESD. So I'll show you guys my NVIDIA control panel settings. So head to your NVIDIA control panel. All right. So please, if you are using a G-Sync enabled monitor, I'll advise you turn it off, especially for EFC, because um, honestly. It has not been working properly for most games recently. So if if your monitor is not G-Sync enabled, there's no need to bother about that. But if it is and your game is stuttering, please turn it off. Then um, so what we need to do here is go to manage 3D settings, um, program settings here. Then select EFC25. Please make sure you select EFC25, not FC trial dot uh, exe, but FC25.exe. So when you have that selected, just follow these settings. Uh, find low latency mode and select ultra for that. Um, max frame rates, I need you to turn it on, then increase the slider all the way to 1000 FPS. Then um, power management mode, you need to select um, you need to select prefer maximum performance for that. This will help actually help for your um, cutscene settings. So that's about it. So when you are done with this lower right corner you see save just hit save and quit um, the video control panel so that's it so for some people um having game mode turned on works for them so just right click display settings having game mode turned on does not help their um the right click system display then when you are here just scroll down um uh, graphics uh, change default graphics settings now hardware accelerated gpu please i need you to turn that off now if it's not working properly with that on turned off you turn it on and also for game mode game mode setting you can just search for game mode it's not, just search for game mode game mode settings now if you have if your fifa is if your <laughs> fc25 is not working properly just turn it off so but if it's working properly with it turned on there's no problem also the same thing for um the same thing for this hardware accelerated gpu so that's just the thing just make sure you follow these settings and mess around with it and find the one that works best for you all right guys thank you for watching the video see you guys next time don't forget to um like the video and if the if it doesn't work for you please leave a comment and let me know your um the issues you are facing with your fc25 and i'll also leave my instagram handle in the video description so you can send me a dm and see you guys next time please follow these steps properly i thank you for watching the video guys